this is Eric Muade, the Muade com. As always, again here, what I'm doing now on this video is um, uh, I am going to do a upgrade or an update of uh, this article here that I wrote about two and a half years ago. And the reason why is just because I think um, primarily part of the page, uh, the website that I was using for us to get us uh, sector ideas, uh, the profit.net. Uh, is no longer available so that part of this might not be relevant but I wanted to share with you uh, really the ultimate Moade breakout and this is again this video this article was initially made May 2008 as you can see today right now we are trading um, August 2003 and the Dow up about Dow trading about 11 uh, 1,076 give or take. Anyway, this being an educational video, let's go. Um, and it's beginning of this video starts with a. Uh, it is not. It, it is no secret that birds of a feather flock together. It is. It is no secret that stocks move in groups. Now that's very important because what you're gonna recognize over time, once you trade the market for a couple of years, is that the best way to get the best stocks is to simply find out what the best sectors in the market are once you find the best sectors which are usually sectors that are breaking out then finding ideas within the sectors becomes almost um, uh, easy to do once you find the sector is moving because some stocks are doing well and there are always going to be stocks that have to play catch up or you could even own the leadership stocks in the best sectors in the market that pretty much could be the ideal scenario where you own the best group and own the best stocks in the best group and usually they'll be the ones that are going to be making you money and sometimes these stocks can be on fire for years or months or weeks who knows all right all right uh, then I, let me go on here it is it is a it is a secret though that the ultimate more the breakout dictates which sectors will attract smart money and I think when I wrote that what I meant is that the bottom line is in investing is you realize that stocks tend to move in groups now um, if you use the ultimate more the breakout what what is going what this is gonna do for you is that you're gonna be finding yourselves owning the best stocks before they become the best stocks as far as the street is concerned in other words you're gonna be way early before the crowd before the crowd realizes that a sector is hot based on the ultimate more the breakout which is going to give you an early signal you're going to be already a buyer of a such such a move now because of the ultimate more the breakout which is very simple and you can click on the ultimate more the breakout and many videos on this uh, my secrets part of the mother.com website very simple is it doesn't change for stocks that doesn't change for commodities doesn't change for world any world market it's consistent throughout all the investing landscape and the key here is to find sectors that are breaking out and I'm just doing a redo of this article I did many years ago so bear with me probably not the most organized video you're gonna see but I'm just trying to show you um, we're gonna to look look at some examples again most the initial part of this article here talks about the profit.net website right there but this website was purchased and uh, is no longer available to the public it used to be free it was a decent website to be very honest with you but uh, I think now they offer it as part of a different package for a different website all the same well what I want us to do here is I would like us to take a look at again this video is gonna focus on sectors and I want to take a look at some examples let me get my charts ready here so whether they can fit in my uh, tool here give me a second align this Ta -ta -da. Yeah, it's getting close 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 I think that might do it somewhere around should do it anyway oops yeah I go messing it up but anyway what what I want us to look at here is um, housing 
okay now remember housing was very hard between 2003 and the peak or some well I guess this index was peaked in 2005 but again housing was on fire if you take a look at this housing index it broke out right there okay and then had another breakout later on somewhere around here okay and this coincides here this breakout in in October of 2004 coincides with um, this breakout here so that time period right there corresponds with that line dotted line here so somewhere around here there was a move above 69.10 that led to a very nice move which was a uh, here broke out here from about 200 to 290 now remember this is just the index so the index don't move a lot they don't move a lot in percentage terms but I guarantee you within the sector within the housing index stocks were up 300 400 200 percent within this sh short time period here just because the sector was breaking out smart money was moving to individual stocks within those sectors so the ultimate mother breakout could have shown you that this was a place to pour your money and also notice that number one performance against the market as struck by the S&P 500 versus the housing index moved to a new high right there again so that was a leadership in the market and then also notice that the MACDs moved to new highs each time the market broke up the index broke out so not only was it outperforming the S&P 500 with a breakout there you see that the MACDs were also moving to new high ground here and also there was a MACD buy point right there and another breakout to new highs there enough to move this instrument now, now let me see what here because I'm doing this on the fly I haven't so that was housing um, and again we and since then you know you could have missed there was no other breakout after 2005 here so you would have actually been out of the housing sector way before the bear market of 2008 which is not even captured in this video while I was making this video the market had not even um, gone through the crash of 2008 so but yet th just by avoiding stocks that are not breaking out notice the index was not breaking out if anything there's a lot of false breakouts uh, it was time to get out of this market um, we take a look at and this is a weekly chart see what we got here now it's very important because this is just a video I'm making on the fly to show you something this market broke down here which coincides with about April June of 2006 so somewhere around here it broke down right now even though I was here to talk about the ultimate mother breakout I want you to pay attention to the RSI around that time period of April of 2006 because I bet you and I haven't done this I'm just doing this on the fly but I bet you oops, there was a break let me clear that off bring this back bring it see what we get here if we draw a straight line right there like I told you I, I just knew it once we broke down this red line which is somewhere around there corresponds with a break about June July of 2006 in fact it broke down way before so this breakdown here in two thousand mid 2005 was actually way before the breakdown in 2006 all right so the uh, just by knowing when, whenever you see a break in the RSI a major break because this as long as the rally was intact we had support here but once we broke down there that was the end of that bear market now notice if you draw a line there you'll notice that once this instrument could not move above this level and then had a fresh break right there 
another fresh break that corresponds with April of 2006 break right there I don't know whether you can see that can you see that it corresponds with uh, this time period right here corresponds with this break right there all right and which meant stay out of this market and if you stayed out of this market in 2000 mid 2006 you avoided the crash of 2008 because there was no breakout after this break you only want to buy stocks that are breaking out like a breakout here breakout here or a breakout here another breakout here as long as you're buying them when they're breaking out you are putting your money in the best case scenario and this is what you get you get a rally but when stocks that are not breaking out especially stocks that can't even move above declining top lines can't move above these levels here this is once you, you get draw a lot can't move once you draw a line connecting those you get a line connecting those highs here so once you have established resistance point and the markets can't move above that you want to be a seller okay now let's see we on now remember this is just the ultimate more the breakout sectors by finding the best sectors in the market by finding the best sectors in the market you'll end up with the best stocks in the market now this is gold this is very important you notice because I'm gonna update this chart this this chart was saved in March uh, let me see this last time when this this was first created uh, it was um, here this article about June of 2007 is when I saved this chart when I was doing this article about those many years ago all right so and gold moved from about 275 all the way to 725 one of the biggest movers in the market at that time this is just the gold index now watch something here now gold became a buy a buy when gold the gold it when the gold index broke out in price right there broke out in price right there okay you see that move and also notice that it fulfilled the ultimate more the breakout because the RSI moved to a fresh three-year high right there you see that little move was a f more than a fresh three-year high in fact it was a, a new high going back to oh, let me see how many years one two three four five six going back five years so that was those uh, the RSI was going to five years on a monthly chart and look at the MACDs and MACDs were beautiful they were breaking out to I would say almost nine year highs on, on the one of the MACD time frames which is that time frame they moved to one year highs and then on the main MACD which is right there notice it moved to what I would say about a five year high so the ultimate more the breakout was fulfilled and that was the reason why gold has moved all the way from about 275 in 2002 from about 275 breakout believe it or not within four years gold was trading at 725 right so not, but if I update this chart and show you what gold has done since then give me a second here see whether I can get this chart here let's get gold going back many years so this is uh, many many years later and notice the chart we got now how do I do this hold on a second yeah I might ha just have to wing it oops didn't mean for that to happen we try again So here's gold now. It's not trading at 70, 700 to 725 here in 2006. Gold is now trading at 900. And it all began late in 2002 with the ultimate Mwade breakout. And we've had many ultimate Mwade breakouts since then. For example, 
uh, see here this was an ultimate mother breakout right there another ultimate mother breakout another ultimate mother breakout another ultimate mother breakout another ultimate mother breakout another ultimate breakout mother breakout and how you and it's just the ultimate mother breakout is very simple you want the RSI to move above 69.10 or you want the RSI to move to three fresh three-year highs and you can see all this being met in these conditions here and the MACDs should always break out whenever you get the MACDs breaking out and the RSI moving to fresh multi-year highs on the ultimate mother breakout then that's when you get uh, the, the makings of a great stock market move and so gold was a buy back in the day at 200 and was a buy back in the day at 225 breakout somewhere around there so incredible incredible and it all began with the ultimate mother breakout that always seems to be what moves stocks always um, again you'll notice all these lines that I'm drawing the dotted lines and these charts are gonna be on this page all these dotted lines show you where there was an ultimate mother breakout all of them alright so the the charts that I'm showing in this video are gonna be on this page and you can take a look at them again the dotted line show you where the ultimate mother breakout was uh, part of a of a great beginning in a stocks move let's take a look at the dot com now remember after the 2009 crash now after the two, 1999 early 2000 tech bubble bust the dot coms were out of favor but something strange happened in the middle of 2003 in the middle of 2003 the RSI after three years of a bear market the RSI moved to a fresh breakout level in more than three years right there so I can get that right the RSI broke out right there and that corresponds with 2003 mid 2003 right there and even though the the tech bubble was based on dot coms on dot coms being um, crushed they were one, one of the first sectors to break out so sometimes stocks that l lead you into a bear market are the very same stocks that lead you out of it and this is a perfect example but how did how would you have known that this was a was a great opportunity it's very easy you get an ultimate mother breakout to fresh new three-year highs you got a price breakout on the monthly chart and you got look at the uh, the look at the MACD MACD breaking out here and here on both time frames and there you go voila we got a huge move and because of this big move in um, in the internet index itself because of this move in the internet in the in, in the internet index in itself you'll notice that at the same time we have individual stocks now within the sector of the of the dot com and within those three those breakout in again remember I'm trying to show you that once you get a sector breaking out within the sector you are gonna get gigantic movement in stocks sectors don't move as much in terms of percentage but within the sector you're gonna get monster performers and here's a perfect example so remember we are looking at breakouts in about mid 2003 and here is netease.com a dot com of course and notice notice the breakout it it gained 1840 percent in about under a year in less than one year because the the and why by the way this instrument had broken out in 2002 but by the time the again this was one of the leadership stocks so it broke out way before the sector did but when the sector was breaking out here in mid 2004 somewhere around here the stock jumped 372 percent when the when the sector broke out 
right so we see that the breakout in 2003 really moved this stock here's another one red F again it's 2003 move in October was about 113 percent in four months again this was one of the leadership stocks because it had already broken out with its own ultimate mwade breakout again notice all these lines I'm showing here on this examples are where we had ultimate mwade breakout so using an ultimate mwade breakout the stock moved to new RSI highs here which corresponds with this breakout here here which corresponds with this breakout on the MACD and this breakout on the MACD hence it gained 1840 percent in one year now remember all these dotted lines are showing you where the ultimate mother breakout took place so and the arrows are showing you the same thing the arrows show you the MACDs and the, remember the ultimate mother breakout is just the RSI on a three-year monthly and the MACDs on a three-year monthly that's it you don't need anything else again notice that that was good for 800 and 480 percent gain in six months here in 2003 it moved from here early 2003 all the way to in about six months at almost a 500 percent gain because it met the ultimate mother breakout remember this was happening when everybody was running away from dot coms because of the great tech bubble and yet they were one of the best performers here's another one Cena it broke out and uh, it broke out here and I remember buying this one a dollar 69 at the time I remember the breakout like it was yesterday um, buying it here sold it for around four dollars but gave up a lot of gains okay now this is when I didn't even know that the, what the ultimate mother breakout because ultimate mother breakout uh, I would say I discovered this about 2007 is when I came to understand that uh, how the technicals work in relation to the ultimate more the breakout what I call the ultimate more the breakout but here's Cena good for 1700 percent these are rare movements in the market you don't find such movements I mean these are incredible rare opportunities in the market but notice every time these instruments break out it's because the sector was already on fire already moving to new three-year highs or close to three-year highs and so the stocks within the sector were doing great and you can see such examples again the same thing around the same time frame look at another one so who up 1800 percent big movers all the way breaking out from about a dollar under two dollars all the way to what forty two dollars in about one and a half years almost straight every month straight to this high so the dot com bust took this stock from here the bubble took it from here to here it consolidated here and within no time when to, and to everybody's surprise it jumped from under two dollars a dollar fifty all the way to forty two dollars straight monthly gains here's another one eBay again broke out in 2003 and had a nice run remember in an environment where dot coms were being avoided here I'm gonna show you the Dow Jones three year three year monthly where the Dow Jones broke out with an ultimate mother breakout in um, what was this this was in September of 2006 broke out here with an ultimate mother breakout nice breakout the RSI went to new three-year highs and the MACDs moved to a new breakout level that breakout was good to move the Dow to its highs of 1400 by November of 2007 so this breakout here in the Dow was good enough to take the Dow to its current all-time high of 1400 which it which it recorded in um, October November of 2007 so that breakout there you see here and this is very simple when you look at the ultimate mother break again this dotted line show you where the breakout took place and the rest is history now I want to show you a classic classic because even though the Nasdaq gained moved had a huge run between 96 moved from under a thousand 
all the way to about 5,000 between remember from under a thousand all the way to 5,000 between 1996 and 19 and 2000 so about five years had a great run okay but here here's part of the riding um, if you take a look at on the monthly we had a breakout in October let me see in December of 1998 right there broke out on the monthly on the monthly chart notice how the my the RSI moved above 69.10 me show that to you the RSI moved above 69.10 right there notice that um, the MACD was breaking out right there it was breaking out to new highs now that now this is the index this is one of the world's major indexes indices in the world the Nasdaq and the Nasdaq because of that one breakout right then in, in uh, late 2008 moved a hundred and seventy four percent between late 98 and March of 2000 March and March of 2000 you, you, don't, you don't see a major market move that much in a short period why did it start moving because of these lines here which show periods where the market flashed ultimate more the breakout so this ultimate more the breakout is most definitely for real it is the most powerful indicator that I could ever have conceived and it is it works it works um, let's take a look at crude oil crude oil had a breakout in July of 2004 July of 2004 right there crude oil and it broke out in the $40 just under $40 under $40 and why was this breakout significant because the breakout saw the RSI move to a fresh three-year high okay so it met the first requirement and it met the second requirement of moving the MACDs up to new three-year highs so we got the first requirement that the RSI should move to a fresh three-year high we got the second requirement that the MACDs should in the very least move to new highs or break out to new three-year highs this move in crude oil was good enough to, to move crude oil almost a hundred percent within one year which is a big move for crude oil probably its biggest rally ever remember we're talking about significant movements in the market movements markets have never repeated in in and might not repeat for generations and why do they move because they gave the ultimate mother breakout when you can't find the ultimate mother breakout you're not gonna find a strong mover now remember crude oil because this chart was saved many years ago crude oil would go on to trade as high as hundred and forty dollars by mid 2008 okay because this chart was saved in, when this article was written it was about mid 2007 but by 2008 because of this breakout here this breakout here that we show which was the first ultimate mother breakout in years look at this breakout it was the first breakout going back to way before the 90s this breakout was a classic buy signal classic ultimate mother breakout right there right and it moved this instrument from under from under forty dollars all the way to one forty by in the over the next two years big movement here's another one uh, we're showing a natural gas now remember this is just crude oil if you take a look at the at individual stocks within that within the crude oil complex in that time frame they were up 500 600 700 a thousand percent remember when the instrument when the when the sector breaks out within the sector the individual stocks are up hundreds of percentage points at a time hundreds of percent percentage points again just because the sector breaks out so here's natural gas showing you natural gas breakout in 2000 2000 because as the mark as the tech bubble bust 
money was going into other sectors. Perfect example. Tech bubble burst here in March 2000, 2000 and while all that money leaving tech came into some other areas of the market. And natural gas was one of them, had a spike. It jumped up from about two do, under, under three dollars with an ultimate Mwade breakout. Why? Because as the tech bubble was bursting, you got an RSI move making a three year high in natural gas and the market is making a three year high there and there. That was good enough to tell you that this instrument was going to be on fire. This instrument would go on to gain 68% in two weeks. No, actually, I take that back. Hold on, hold on a second. It rallied 230% between, this is now the natural gas index. It's unbelievable. The index rallied 230% in nine months during the tech bubble. It's an, during a bear market, this instrument, not just a stock, but a sector, was up 230%. It's incredible. And why? Because it began with the ultimate Mwade breakout, which I just showed you right here. So what I'm trying to teach here is, quite frankly, how can you question what this is telling us? This is telling us that we need to master, we need to find. We need to spend our energies trying to find out similar chart setups because we are going to be putting ourselves in the best available, best chances for success. Again, there was another breakout here for natural gas in 2005 where it moved in, a, in, a, in about two weeks, moved 68%. And again, it's because it did another ultimate more the breakout. You can see the RSI moves to a fresh three-year high right here. Right there. Fresh three-year high somewhere around there. And that was good enough to, to make this breakout one to watch. All right. Now, take a look also. The MACDs moved to a fresh three-year highs right there during that here and here so that breakout was not one that needed anybody to to uh, to ignore see what we got here so here is a uh, telecom holders again 2006 and this is a classic man I, I wanna kiss this chart I mean the tech bubble was all about technology and um, you know telecoms were on fire and how did they begin their rally? Now notice we had the crash. We had, um, uh, this is 2006, I get it. So after the, the bear market of 2000 and 2000, all the way 2002, we had a multi-year consolidation here. In fact, if I recall, 2004 was the most boring year in the stock market ever. The market was flat for one year. Yikes. But within that, within that time frame, a lot of stocks were moving. But anyway, so this market consolidated here for almost uh, one, two, three, almost three and a half years. But what is more important is it broke out with the ultimate Mwade breakout in um, February of 2006. Right there. corresponds with the RSI breakout to three year highs actually going back to about six year highs breakout on the RSI on the monthly chart take a look at the MACDs who are also breaking out to fresh multi-year highs in fact this breakout was an all-time high breakout what did you get you get a movement from it broke out buy point was about I would say about $25 and you'd go on to trade as high as uh, 40, 40 something in about year, year and a half. Now, this is just the index moving, the, the ETF. Within that, you got stocks that were up 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So what I'm trying to teach here is when you see an index breakout, you go within the sector and find the individual stocks that are also showing ultimate more the breakouts and those stocks are gonna be your winners I guarantee you 
um, again, you know, there was a breakout in uh, Amex. Amex broke out the Amex composite. It broke out. No, no other market broke out. I don't know why this happened in 2003. It was very strange. And Amex stocks were on fire. Not Nasdaq, not not the NYSE, but Amex stocks in two, in 2003, 2007. They were just on fire. You find any stock in the New York Stock Exchange eh, on the Nasdaq? Eh, you find a stock in 2003 or that was on the that was on the Amex that was breaking out. I don't know why, but they were on fire. But you notice this is instrument broke out to new highs in 2003 and it had an ultimate mother breakout because the RSI moved to three-year highs and the MACDs moved to fresh three-year highs and what you get was an index which broke out now remember this is when the market was in a funk but while the market was coming out of its bear market this instrument broke out I don't know why it did break out because you'd, you'd think they follow the Dow and they follow the Nasdaq and the S&P but for some reason now that I can look back I see why the Amex was on fire is because it broke out with an ultimate mother breakout uh, late in 2003 and it and the RSI stayed above 69.10 above 69.10 for almost three straight years that's why these instruments were on fire I mean 138% in four years for major index is a big deal because within that index you got big unbelievable movers again the ultimate more the breakout was in display I think I believe that's it for this instrument I mean for this article I just did a redo um, again just trying to sh reinforce the idea that the ultimate more the breakout is and to me now that I've used it for four years ever since I discovered it, it is the most powerful tool out there. This is Eric Moada with Moada.com. Peace and blessings.